I have never been here before. So I don't even know how this works, but. You okay? Yeah, I just sprained my ankle pretty good. Um, I'll be all right, though. I just want to say uh, uh, tonight was just really special for me. I'm just thankful to everybody here involved with the, the program, especially coaches, other coaches, the fans, um, you guys. I mean, everybody. It's just um, something I always remember the rest of my life. And uh, I love this program. I love the people in it. Um, it's, a, it's a real special, special place. So. Um, I appreciate everything that uh, Spartan Nation uh, kind of showed tonight. Just want to say that. Any questions? We've got a couple of microphones. Russell, did you know that they had that type of, uh, they were going to introduce you last and they were going to do that special thing for you? No, I didn't. Um, I didn't. I was just expecting to play some basketball, but uh, I really, that blew me away. And, um, you know, I was something, like I said, I'll remember that for a long time. And, um, and it's just uh, really fun being back here with, with these people and with the guys on my team. And um, I was thankful I got an opportunity to do that. I was thinking about doing it anyway, kind of on my way out uh, towards the end of the game, but they gave me a chance early on. Hey, Russell, over here. The, um, what did you and your teammates talk about on the floor? There was some chatting between you and Brandon and some other <laughs> things. What, was, what were some of the conversations that were had out there? You know, he, I used to push BJ in the back all the time in practice try and get rebounds because he's so dang athletic and uh, they called a push in the back call and it wasn't on me because I didn't do it it was one of my teammates and he thought for sure it was me and uh, and just you know different stuff catching up you know talking with BJ about fatherhood and you know he's he's the father of, of my Sean and um, just different stuff like that talking to Zell talking trash trying to anticipate their plays they were mad at me because they said I knew all their plays and told the rest of the guys. I was like, of course I did, you know, <laughs> Try, <laughs> trying to win a game. So, um, yeah, it was good. That, that Just that back and forth on the court was fun. And uh, those are some good guys out there, and they got a lot of potential this year. So you said you didn't know that the pregame introduction was coming. When did you find out all that was going to happen for you? Um, Kevin Palga informed me kind of during warm-ups um, right before we came back out at the uh, four-minute mark. So I kind of knew that was going to be uh, that was going to happen after at that point. Um, and uh, I didn't really know what to expect, but it turned out to be a pretty cool thing. And uh, yeah, I'm just kind of glad I got a chance to continue the tradition. And uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. Russell. Oh, over here, can you just talk about what the last three days have been like for you? I know you had a pretty big event uh, late Friday, and we were worried that you might, you know, that might kind of coincide with this game. That's it sure did. I didn't sleep for about, uh, geez, like 36, 30, 38 hours. Um, you know, being there all day Friday and all, all night, uh, and then all in the early morning hours of Saturday. Um, you know, they think about how fun this was, how great of an experience it was. Um, excitement of it, it'll never ever trump the excitement I felt in that uh, hospital room. Uh, just getting to welcome my daughter into the world. Um, you know, I can't wait to see her. And uh, so getting to be there for that was just something really special, you know, kicked off the, to kick off those first, uh, to kick off these three days. And um, and uh, the wife gave me permission to, to hop on a plane and, and, and to enjoy this experience out here. And, and as soon as I got out here, it's just been a lot of fun. A lot of feels like home. Doesn't feel like um, doesn't feel foreign. So um, it was good being home again. Two questions, Russell. Uh, you said you and Brand were talking fatherhood. Was he giving you diaper changing advice? <laughs> what were you guys talking about? And second part, uh, what, what do you think this year can do for you in, in terms of basketball? Um, yeah, I don't, he wasn't giving me much diaper advice. Um, yeah, he, uh, I don't even know if he knows. I've actually never seen him do it. So, uh, but he was, he was just happy for me that I got to experience it. Um, cause he's obviously ex experienced it as well and he knows what it's like. Um, so we just kind of shared that joy together. And then, uh, as far as basketball goes, um, this is just uh, the, the, you know, Masters College has just been really, uh, really perfect for me in terms of basketball. The people there have been really supportive and encouraging of, of my goals as a as a player. 
And uh, I think I got to go a little better than seven for 22 to help them out this year. But, um, you know, I was just, um, it was just a, something I couldn't necessarily prepare for. I was pressing early on. And, um, but it was good to kind of finally hit a few shots. And uh, so I'm just excited to help them. I help them in terms of athletics, but as well as uh, just being a, a student there, being a leader in the uh, student body, and um, and just trying to bring some excitement to the campus. And um, the guys that I'm playing with are great, are great, great, uh, great guys who are incredibly supportive. Um, so we're just uh, we're just going to try to play our best. You know, we got a lot of things to work on. Um, a little outmatched tonight, but we uh, we played with heart, and um, I was proud of that. And uh, we're just going to keep uh, keep plugging along, keep trying to compete every night. And um, I'm just excited to, to play a, a year of basketball. And I tell you, my crabs, my, my crabs, my calves were cramping the last seven minutes. I don't think I've ever played 39 minutes in, in about four years. So got to get in a little better shape. But um, I'm mean, I'm excited about this year with with Masters College. We got time for one more for Russell. Russell, you were a uh, Izone favorite for the years that you were here at MSU. And so I guess, how did it feel to get the air ball chant? You kind of seemed to laugh it off a little bit, but just how did that feel for you? Oh, man, I wouldn't have it. Uh, uh, Mr. Larson was talking to me about it. He knew exactly what I was thinking. I wouldn't have it any other way. I wouldn't, they wouldn't be the Izone if they didn't chant air ball. Um, you know, I'm just glad I made a few, so. Um, they better keep doing what they do because they sure help those guys on, on, the, on the, in those home games. And um, yeah, I'm just thankful, especially to the his own. They were they were awesome as well. Um, so yeah, been great. All right. Thanks, guys.